What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. When I was just graduating high school, um, Chris Samuels was graduating the University of Alabama. And at that time, I used to love to watch the NFL draft. Uh, not so much anymore, but uh, there was a lot of talk about this guy by the name of Chris Samuels, and he was an offensive tackle. And the reviews on this guy was amazing. I mean, especially um, at that time, the league was more run oriented, but you know, still there was a, a great level of uh, of, uh, of passing. And if you can remember, um, there was a running back by the name of Sean Alexander, who was a really great running back for the Seattle Seahawks that played alongside him at a certain point. And, um, and he had a very decent career. He was even the NFL MVP in 2005. So Chris Samuels went on to have an excellent career um, on the Washington Redskins. Now, the, the, the real reason, because um, you know, usually offensive linemen have long careers, but the issue was, um, in his last season, he got a head-to-head -head hit, helmet-to-helmet -helmet hit, right? And um, he already had spinal stenosis as a youth. So that particular paralysis suffered in that game, um, scared his quality of life. He ended up retiring at that time. So this is just after he signed a huge seven-year, $45 million, seven, uh, seven year, uh, $47 million um, contract, signing bonus of $16 million. And right after that, he got married. Okay. Now, let me just, let me just say this. Um, a lot of guys in their playing life and imagine having to retire, you know, at 32, you're still relatively a young man. I'm 42. I still feel quite young. Right. But you're 32. You're not playing football anymore. Then you're trying to get into coaching, right? And this is a hard road. Coaching is a hard road for those guys who are outside of sports, you know, and um, you, you know, he never really can get a good coaching job. He stayed coaching um, in the high school ranks and things like that, getting a new wife, um, which is Monique. And um, what I honestly feel is, is that, um, you know, Monique from the Real Housewives of Potomac, Maryland. And I think the guy just started running out of money. That's what I honestly believe, all right? Now, this guy is getting divorced, okay? 45 years old, three kids, the wife has filed for divorce. One of the rumors is, is that because he's broke now. They're broke, they really need that money to survive. And um, let me, let me, let me talk about this because, you know, me being a pro-black, and again, I don't have all the answers. It could, could or not be true. I don't know why they divorced. But something that we gotta talk about, if we can. A lot of the brothers are out here trying to uh, do things the right way. That's what this guy did. Didn't have any kids at all, lot. He went to college. I believe he finished college, graduated, retired, then got married to a beautiful wife, three kids, 45 years old. She filed for divorce. You're now gonna be reduced to um, a step parent or not step parent, but you know, part-time parent. And now you're starting over all over again. Like imagine starting all over again twice by the time you're 45. Think about it. You're starting all over again as you're no longer in the NFL and you're not the rich boss guy that you used to be. That's hard when you used to have a lot of money and being something that you know, people are always praising you. Now you're no longer that you're now a regular person. Then you do that. Then you go into coaching, which is a hard hill to climb in the game to do that. Then you become a married man and you're used to having a family, raising kids. Now that's gone. That's, that's, I mean, think about it. Tom Brady just retired at 45, even though he's divorced, but this, this guy has had twice, he's had to rebuild himself. And thing is, is that a lot of black men are afraid of this sequence. We, 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 we talk about this all the time, me and Brother George. I believe in marriage um, as an institution. I'm gonna get married, although I'm very scared of it because you know, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm for the black community. So I'm just gonna let, I'm gonna let one of these sisters ruin my life, y'all. Um, it's okay. I mean, if we can get one less pookie off the street, 
And if it's for me to marry somebody so that your, your mama or grandmama or, or my mama don't get robbed, it is worth me suffering for, for you. But a lot of guys don't want to go through this. Where's the working it out part? And when people gonna say, well, you know what? That's, that was seven years. Or it, it, it lasted 11 years. But brothers are like, man, but now I'm broke. Oh, like think about this. And guys, subscribe, hit the bell if you like this video, all right? As a black man, you look at the law of diminishing return. You're thinking about all the money that I could have had, okay? All the money that I could have had if I didn't meet her. If I didn't know her. If I didn't meet her. Like, and then the thing you you you, you know is gonna happen, which is um if 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 once the divorce is over. Here comes the next guy coming into the game that ain't got to do nothing with my money. And here I am, old, broke down, with nothing, and I'm bitter. And you know how many men are bitter now? And I'm not saying it's their fault, right? It's not their fault. It's not their fault. It's not their fault that, you know, a woman's fault. It's not their fault. What I'm saying is for the women out there that don't know you, it's not their fault that it didn't work out. But God damn it, the issue is this. And I want to talk about this. The problem is, is that most of you guys are afraid to even get involved in marriage now. What am I going to get? I built my life to do what I'm doing now. That lady is going to take all that I got and I could have made some mistakes. And now it's over. I'm going back to nothing. I'm afraid to commit to a woman anymore. And who wants me now after a broke down situation like this? How do you get back out there and start dating? You, I mean, you, the guy did things the right way. And the, and the thing is, this is the problem that we have. You know, the lady goes out there, still does her life on the Real Housewives of Mobile or whatever it is, Potomac, and there you are. And so what I want to tell you is this, guys, and, and what I've known about guys who've been married. Let me say, as far as I have noticed, a man takes it very difficult once he gets married. Okay, very difficult. Here's what I know. Once you get through with that, okay, what, what you're gonna find out is, you're gonna find this out very very quickly. Let time come back. She, 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 she's not gonna probably do very well. You keep on improving yourself. It's tough, yes I know. But other men have gotten through it. So can you. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Survey Drunk. Appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out.